Why does every guy cheat on you? Trust me, I know. How come girls always call you their friend? I can tell you. We'll talk about your strength and we'll talk about emotions. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Check out yours at secretsofbirthdays.com. Namaste. Welcome to Soul Horoscope's Orbits Edition. From my webcam to yours, I'm Christopher Ray Manwatecki, your astrologer and soul biographer here to help you put the pieces of your karmic story together this week. Well, this week we are wrapping up the sun in Leo. That's the I love state of awareness emanating from our heart chakra. We're going to go from step 25 to being tested at step 29. We also have a full moon this week. And at the end of the week, the sun shifts into IB Virgo, the most real sign of all 12 signs. Now, emotionally, it starts off a little conservative. On Sunday and Monday, the moon is in Capricorn, but then the moon goes to a full moon status in Aquarius Tuesday, Wednesday. Then things get kind of slippery, sloppy, and Pisces Thursday, Friday. And then this weekend, it gets intense again with the moon crossing that T-square. The moon signs most affected are the Capricorn Cancer Spectrum, Aquarius Leo during the full moon, Pisces Virgo, and of course, next weekend, the Aries and Libras will be running around the planet. Now, looking at orbits, man, most emotions will affect crown and third eye this week, but at the end of the week, the moon does go all the way down back to the root chakra, so you might have fears of survival on the weekend. Other plans effective, of course, are our solar plexus with Jupiter, but Mercury has now moved up to the heart chakra, which means that thoughts can affect your heart. Your mind can go the wrong direction and suddenly break your heart, so be careful. Mind does lead to heartache if not well managed. Now, looking at the planets, the same old corporates are here. For one, the Soul Pyramid in water, a grand triumph between Neptune, Saturn, and that party down in Cancer. Now, that does get struck when the moon crosses Neptune in Pisces later this week. Of course, we have a full moon on Tuesday, Wednesday. That is a tug of war between the sun and the earth and the moon, and that will mean literally a detachment moment where you have to let go of the things you don't love so you can embrace the things you do love. Also, that T-square. Oh, what fun it is to ride, right? Well, the moon is going to cross over Uranus this weekend, and that's going to really light up this T-square. In each of your horoscopes, I'll describe what that means for you. Here you can see the moon crossing over the Earth right before it hits the Solar Pyramid. So the full moon is pretty intense. It hits us, makes us pull apart, and then the moon crosses that Solar Pyramid right away, forcing us to kind of update those emotions immediately. Well, let's take the Ascension Elevator up, shall we, and take a bird's eye view of you. Folks, this is your captain speaking. We realize you have a choice in the astrologers you choose to fly with, and we'd just like to thank you for flying with Christopher Watecki. Hello, captains and Capricorn Risings, and welcome now to 33,000 feet for a bird's eye view of what's going on with your race. Now, there are many orbits on the plate or stories going on. The biggest one, of course, is the sun in Leo. Caps and Cappy Risings are working on trust and intimacy issues. Of course, it begins with trusting yourself and whether or not you enforce your own boundaries, and it expands to your potential for intimacy with others. Another story is a soul pyramid in water, forcing rapid emotional development for everyone on the planet. This really epicenters around your thought process in many ways, the way you allow your thoughts to happen or not happen, and whether or not you are compassionate with your own thoughts. This also is affecting taking responsibility with where you belong in society. That's another cornerstone of this. But probably the most painful part of it is growing at a rapid rate with your mirage, how you relate to yourself, and marriages. And this week you will begin to heal your mirage, which is the predecessor of healing marriages. Also, emotions are quite uptight. A uh, T-square is causing you to perhaps have stomach issues or emotional issues. This is because of a conflict between your ego and trying to be strong and at the same time uh, trying to expand your ability to give and receive in relationships. So a lot of issues at home, family, or between ego and partnerships. So as we venture out this week, we wrap up the sun in Leo. And this is the part of the I protect energy that deals with your alchemy ability. Alchemy is the ability to transform yourself, and that's, of course, how flexible you are. And your ability to transform is really, at the end of the day, your power. Because if you can dance with the world, you can do a lot of cool, fun stuff. Now, the planets this week will move from step 25 to step 29. 
uh, which means you'll move from intuitive thoughts to being tested on Thursday night of trust and intimacy. So Thursday night could be a bit hectic. Then Friday, the sun moves into Virgo, where we begin uh, what you believe and a 30-day examination of belief, education, and travel. In the background, Mars is putting the finishing action touches on marriage and partnership. So if you have any kind of relationships that are still hanging in the balance, they will likely uh, sew up this week or begin to. Saturn in Scorpio is saying it's time to make peace with your friendships or whatever your uh, issues of conflict are in, in the world. You want to go ahead and restore that peace. You want to restore a peace of being in the world, what your heart really wants to be, and nothing else. That's really where the peace will start from, and this is the week to, to create that peace. You have a whole reputation to build in the world still, Capricorn, so let's go ahead and end any of those conflicts. Strangely enough, we'll see how the world does this week with all the world conflicts uh, we have been seeing a lot of them, haven't we? Now, looking at last week, the real epicenter was Thursday through the weekend where there might have been some quantum breakthrough and breakdown with your trust and intimacy issues. This might have been some sort of a formal relationship going down in your life or some sort of contract or deal. This week, as we start off on Sunday, it's a spiritual day, but the moon is in Capricorn, so you are partly cloudy and cool on Sunday and sunny and cool on Monday. What you're doing is processing and deciding uh, just where you stand when it comes to uh, trusting and drawing the line. So there might have been some bad news last week and now it's really not till Monday that you're deciding where you will draw particular lines. Then we have a full moon on Tuesday night. Now on Tuesday you want to take action. In other words, you want to enforce those decisions or judgments you made about where boundaries should be drawn and put that into action. But at the same time, the full moon in Aquarius creates a tug of war between self-esteem and drawing those lines. So you might be very nervous to pull whatever trigger you have to pull and your emotions are very righteous about what you deserve. So handle it with delicate care. On Wednesday, you're holding space for those decisions and trusting everything was the correct decision. The moon is still putting a lot of emphasis on productivity and manifestation and will be moving into mind games by the end of Wednesday night. On Thursday, we are tested. So somehow, whatever boundaries you drew are tested. This might be the first time that the other parties involved in a situation respond or react. They are being tested in their own way. So everyone on Earth is tested. Now, the moon is definitely in Pisces. And what's tested for you is also that compassionate self-attitude. So self-compassion attitude is quintessential for you to feel okay. And also, remember, correctly aligns you in your relationships and correctly aligns where you belong. In other words, when you are self-compassionate, your friends and everything gets along, all right? When you're not, that's when things go wrong. And so Thursday is a real test of that self-compassion, although you're also being tested on personal boundaries. On Friday, the sun moves into Virgo at zero degrees. And I always say zero means zero, the no man's land between two states of awareness. You will feel out of it, I promise you that. And the moon in Pisces makes you very pensive. Now, what we're shifting to is the I believe state of awareness. And for the next 30 days, the captains will be focusing on their belief structure and what they want to learn and add to their belief structure. And when it comes to beliefs, you are Virgos, very picky, very anal retentive, and I have to say close-minded to a lot. Virgo consciousness uh, wants to ignore certain details because it's so detail-oriented. So part of this transit will be the uh, beliefs or lack of education or lack of knowledge that you are in fact ignoring. Don't mean to, but are. So this weekend, the moon moves into Aries. That's going to be a nesting and resting transit for the Capricorns and Capricorn Risings. This weekend, you're going to want to invest in your home, family, and foundation. But what's going to happen is that emotional security will be rocked a bit between that fault line of your ego and your relationship. So although you're trying to nest and rest, you might feel a little torn between uh, strength and where your positions are in relationships. But don't forget, even though you're caught in that T-square, the lesson is where are your beliefs failing you as you're caught in these tensions? Where are beliefs failing you? And that's really the question moving into next week are where do my beliefs fail me? Now coming down to earth, you only have one week left to get a serious joy rating. That's me on camera with you for $99.99. The session is recorded, and after that, I do have to raise my prices because I've got to go back to school, too, in the fall to some degree. But if you want this and an MP3 recording, come on down to soulmart.me and book immediately. Also, you might check out Jumpstart the Heart. This is my 90-minute seminar that will help you step into your heart and give you confidence about uh, putting your life behind your heart and your heart's choices. 
It's affordable, it's on Sundays. There's several dates to choose from, so come down and check it out. It's well worth your time, Captain. Also, Lightcast Bootcamp, my six week course that will help you jumpstart a manifestation. This is on Sundays, and tickets are available right now at soulmart.me. And if you wanna come on camera and be part of the Practical Wizardry, I have this open every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. We do our capture and live taping, and I'm helping people for free come into their magic. Of course, it's uh, not the, as fast as a boot camp, but it is well worth watching. And you can catch them if you miss them on the weekends. I re-release them on the mothership. All of these products do keep me on the air and keep me in a healthy state and paying all my hospital bills. And I appreciate it if uh, you invest in something at soulmart.me. All right, Capricorns, that's all I have for this seven day forecast, but I will be back to help you on back onto your mountain or climb higher next week. Until then, live, love, be.